All right, guys, so I'm hungover as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to get breakfast. And yeah, I don't even know what to say. We're gonna go get breakfast and eat. And then go to Costco to get more food to grill for the week. You know, you gotta prep. You gotta, you gotta prep your food so you don't fail your prep food. If I don't have it made, I'm not, I'm not eating it. I'm going to McDonald's or something. I'm going to go do something stupid that I shouldn't do. But anyways, last night was very interesting. It was fun. Had a great fucking time at the fights. Um, I did get the main event. I did get hit, the, the guy knocked out on my phone. But I'm going to see if I can transfer it over. Because I'm not 100% sure how to do that yet. So I'm going to try to get it on there. And, uh, yeah, he got knocked out. It was fucking hilarious. But uh, the fight was great. Uh, everybody was awesome. Met some people, so that was super cool. Networked a little bit. And then, uh, obviously, got pulled over in the blue smoothie again. <laughs> um, yeah, like, he, he didn't even know the laws. That's what pissed me off the most was... It's just unbelievable. He didn't know the laws. He pulled me over, literally argued with me, that I need a motorcycle license to drive the blue smoothie. It's registered as a motorcycle, which I get what he's saying 100%, but he should still know the laws. It is not considered a motorcycle anymore. It's registered as a motorcycle 100%. I disagree with that. It should not be. It should be registered as a vehicle because you don't need a motorcycle license to drive it. And that's what he was saying. So I get his point 100%, but as a, as a cop, you should know the laws I mean I know the laws you should know the laws you know so that's what pissed me off the most and when when all of this stuff is going on about the cops are doing this cops are doing that I've never experienced that firsthand but it's something something so easy as in the cop didn't even know what kind of license you need to drive that that's kind of scary um, on multiple different levels, but it's a scary situation where he should know that. It shouldn't be my job to have to get out because he made me get out of the slingshot. That's when I got pissed. And he's like, well, look at the license plate. It says motorcycle on it. And I go, yeah, it's registered as a motorcycle. So he argued with me, threatened to tow it and everything else. And then I go, why don't you go look? Because this has changed two years ago. So I, I had to argue with him, and he almost was, like I said, he was going to tow it, give me a ticket, all this stuff. It cost me a bunch of money for something he didn't even know the laws on. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and rant and rave about it. I was pissed, whatever. But Minnesota cops, you guys should figure your shit out. You guys should figure out the laws. Citizens should not have to tell the, the, the law what the law is. And uh, that's what pissed me off. And I wish I would have had my camera on. This is the second time I didn't have my camera on, so... I'm gonna figure something out with that situation because now I have a really funny feeling that they're gonna be watching anything and everything they can pull me for, which is fine, whatever, I don't care, but I wanna get this, start getting this stuff on film so you guys can see this stuff because I, sh I should've had it. I kicked myself in the ass for not doing it, but um, you know, it is what it is. I didn't get any tickets, I didn't anything, but uh, <laughs> I do have to mention this because I, I tend to um, I tend to get to be a smart ass, so, he comes back from the car and goes, yep, you're right. Um, you don't need a motorcycle license for this. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna let you go. I wanted, I wanted his information. I wanted his badge number and I wanted his business card because I'm calling his boss and letting him know his officers don't know the law. Um, but it was hilarious because when I, you know, he gave me all that stuff, which he did not want to do. <laughs> He was standing there, and I fucking took off. Like, <laughs> I took off, and I looked in my rear view mirror, and the cop was still fucking standing there. I, I couldn't <laughs> help it but laugh. It was fucking hilarious. And he was just funny. looking at me like, <laughs> well, what the fuck just happened? So, long story short, you know, every all the, the whole night was good. Um, it, it was irritating at night. You know, it's 1230 at night, 1 o'clock, whatever time it was pulling me over, wasting my fucking time, I'm trying to go home and go to bed, you know, so, um, let's go eat, 
and uh, let's go to Costco and get some more protein. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Good. How are you? I am doing great. Thank you for asking. I'm Josie. Can you grab me something to drink? Oh, good after noonish in this bitch, man. Just jumped in the truck, man. It's hot as fuck in here, dude. Like, it's not that hot out, but it's all black, and the I have my windows blacked out, so the heat man just sits in here so i'm already sweaty uh, hit the gym this morning already and did legs i've been really trying to grow my legs a lot in the last probably three to four months just because that's something that's been a downfall for me um so i've been really pushing a lot more weight hitting legs twice a week and maybe some uh, more booty stuff more than normal but the way that i've been doing the legs is Actually, I feel like they've been growing. They look a lot better. I want to measure them and see where I'm at. I know that probably sounds really stupid, but that's truly how you know if they're growing is by measuring them. So I want to measure them and find out. I got to find a measuring thing. But with the moving and all of that stuff, I'm still we're still looking for shit that we still haven't really used. But slowly it comes apart. It's all coming together. Just hung some more stuff up in the house. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Kind of walk through what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. Been learning a lot with that whole situation. Everything that I have completely done, I've done myself. All the light fixtures, every single light fixture in that fucking place has been a different approach because it's they've all been different. They've, some of them had cans, some of them didn't have cans. Some of them you could put the transformer on top of the light, you couldn't put it in because it wasn't deep enough. And it's just been a really, really good experience, really. Um, so I've been learning a lot with that. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I did. I'll show you guys that in a little while once we get back from the lake. I'm gonna go walk around, get some blood flow in the legs today. Do a little bit more cardio. My cardiovascular has been sucking, as you guys can probably tell in my videos. And just re-watching my video and, and doing this stuff and loading it, my breathing has really, really been bad. And I've really noticed it doing these videos. So that's something that I really wanna work on in the next two to three months really get that amped up and different because it's just not a healthy situation. I'm 252, 252 pounds, which I'm fine with. It's just that I need to really work on my cardiovascular. It's just not been a, a good deal with my breathing and stuff. So, you know, changing, changing my position at work and then, you know, eating more and, and just everything in general has been changing it. So with that all being said, that's why I'm going to walk around the lake. Plus it's nice out. I mean, we don't have very many days left of this in Minnesota. It's the end of August, so I mean, it's gonna be winter time, and my fat ass does not like the winter, so I'm like a little, a little, uh, a little animal that hibernates in the house because I'm outside in it all day long at work. It's not something that I want to go do when I'm off of work. I mean, I will if it's nice out, but it's not something that I'm running out to go do. So we're enjoying the days. Uh, the slingshot, fuck man, the blue smoothie. My um, installer has not gotten back to me on that, so I'm probably just gonna end up doing it myself. I might do a your, uh, do yourself video with that uh, because I, I'm one of those types of people that don't want to wait around. Um, either you're either you're with me or you're not. If you're not with me, that's cool. I'm gonna do this shit myself and find somebody else that's gonna do it. So as of right now, I'm gonna do it myself, which is gonna take a lot more time, but at the same time, it's I know it'll get done and and you guys will be able to see it. It's gonna be legit. It's something that. I've wanted to do for a while. Um, some of my buddies have done it to their cars, and it's just it's just gonna set it apart for sure um, with, with that whole situation. So you guys gotta make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm gonna, I might tackle it next weekend, but I have to do it before the snow flies, so it's gotta be soon <laughs> for sure. But uh, let's go to the lake. I'll give you guys a little view of the lake of, of walking around and uh, get that cardiovascular going. Let's go. <laughs>
All right, guys. So, like I said before, I'm going to show you guys what I've done so far with hanging and that type of shit. Um, some of the stuff you might have already seen, so just calm the fuck down. Everybody just needs to relax. If you've seen it twice, it means it did some shit. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to start off in the, in the um, dining room area first real quick. So, I don't, I don't think I put the chairs on there, but this is uh, like a gray silver, but it's a suede. Super soft, super nice. Goes with the table. And then, the black is not a suede. It's a more uh, durable fabric which is super nice but went black with that matches the table matches the lights and see these stars here i those are the ones that i painted and as you can tell the black star goes with the silver so i went opposite with these silver stars with the black chairs and then the black star with the silver chairs i know it's fucking stupid but i wanted to do that and there's the light there's the other light same thing on that hung up that light fixture something different kind of went with the flow pretty cool though come in this bathroom here this half bath kind of making this a little bit of african style um with the tree and then we also have um a lion that's coming 3d lion that'll be hung up here i'm hoping to do that in the next couple days ouch don't try that shit at home. So when you get real big, you can't fit through these fucking doors. So you just gotta plow shit out. And then there's there's the, the most important thing right there. Definitely, definitely the most important piece. The toilet paper. Went with the uh, LED light here. Again, change that out. Went with this cool ass light. This, this light's actually pretty cool. Um, different style for sure different style than you would probably see in most houses and that's why the fuck we did it so <laughs> there you go that light up there i got a badass light that's gonna go hang up there but uh my fat ass has to try to figure out how to get up there because i'm scared of heights so that'll be interesting the mirror you know the selfie mirror <laughs> you might see that shit on instagram a couple times that's all right the lady wall that's the power wall there those are some badass painting very limited edition too, which is super cool. And then got the uh, coffee table, tower table, and the end tables. They all match. Those just came in as well, which they all have like the look like that. And then the glass, and then this too. They all kind of go together. Pop, 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 pow. This art. I think I already showed this one and then that one. There's gonna be uh, some more art up there, which y'all have to keep in touch and make sure you guys check that one out because that'll be a legendary wall right there. That one is still not done. Have some ideas for that. Definitely ideas for this one, but uh, I cannot confirm or deny what's going on with that one. I hung this thing myself, this thing that says family. Let me tell you what, that was, uh, that was a lot harder than they make it look on the fucking TV, I can tell you that much. Or the internet, whatever. That'll be my next light fixture. This is in the kitchen. That's gonna be my light, my next light fixture. I'm gonna put a track lighting in there. Because uh, this thing is like from 1967, so we need to change that shit out. So, that's some of the stuff that I've been doing, hanging up. Next projects are gonna be the closet, gonna be, let's check out the view though. Let's make sure we check that view out. Next thing's gonna be the closets and that type of stuff there. And then you come out to this amazing view. I still have not seen any deer, any crazy wildlife yet, which irritates me. But that's it, boys and girls, children of all ages.